Um, I am refusing because, like I said, I refuse to take part in this revenge war. I'm refusing because I want to make a statement about uh, how we need to uh, conduct ourselves in this land. I feel like there's too much violence here. There is too much revenge and talk about this side or that side. And we need to talk about how we need to go forward in a future of coexistence where both Israelis and Palestinians can live together and live with security and peace. I got sentenced for 30 days for my first sentencing and I got another draft order for Monday morning which means I have to get drafted on Monday morning where I will go and refuse service once again and probably get sentenced again and this will happen over and over until someone gives up until the army gives me an exemption it's um, not a fun experience but it's also not the worst experience imaginable it's not like the experience that Palestinian prisoners are being um, held under um, in the West Bank or inside Israel. I'm very strict about what you're allowed to do and when, um, but this is something that I'm willing to do um, to make an impact. So actually inside prison, the only source of uh, news that we got was one newspaper called Israel Ayom. Um, and every day on the newspaper there will be pictures of uh, the soldiers that died. And I remember feeling like I... There, it's, I, I feel sad, very sad for the soldiers and the families that have to um, take this great burden of, um, of losing a, someone close to them. But I know that while seeing soldiers dying, I know that this means that there are much more um, Palestinian civilians dying, which we don't see in the newspaper. My friends and family response was um, thankfully mostly um, very understanding because people that know me and people that talk to me know that I come from a, a good place of non-violence um, and, 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 and coexistence. I feel like after the horrendous attack of October 7th against Israeli civilians, there was a very important conception that was broken in Israeli society. Um, the, the conception that we can live with the siege and with the occupation and not feel it. Now, we, when that conception is broken, we have a vacuum. Um, and there are two ideas that are trying to pull people. One idea that the right is offering, which is, uh, we can't live with occupation, we can't live with siege, this means we need to wipe all of them out. And the other idea, the moderate one, the one that makes sense, is that we can't live with occupation, we can't live with siege, we need to step forward for peace. Inside military prison, I got asked a lot, what do you think, we should just stop the war and put our hands up and not do anything? And I would answer, no, we need to keep fighting. We need to keep fighting for a just future. We need to stop the physical fighting between us and we need to very, very aggressively push for a better future. I support the continuation of these protests um, all around the world. Um, and a message to other people my age, other kids. It's important to know that we, we have a voice. I used to think that, um, that, that talking to people is all we could do, but we can change um, and people want to hear what we have to say because we're the future. We're the future and, and we can change.